Okay, so this is where we left off last day was by factoring uh, polynomials. So what we're going to do today then is a refresher. How do we find the roots? Where was our starting point? Any ideas? Is it not fair to ask this early on a technically a Monday morning? Yeah, that's right. So some of the possible factors we might want to use here, this would be like plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3. So there's a lot of them for this particular, but hopefully you get uh, you have some luck and you're not checking all of those. But yeah, that's uh, for the uh, integral roots, the whole number roots. So we'll see if we can find one that works nicely. So you may have found a different one. Um, I just found that negative 2 works. So I'm going to then, uh, I know if negative 2 uh, ends up giving me a 0, what's the factor that I've just found? X plus two. Yeah, x plus 2. So I'm going to uh, do some synthetic division here. So it goes quickly. And bring it down as my first term. And remember, that should still be a 0, so it checks out. So the remainder this should be 0 when it's a factor. So I end up with x squared minus x minus 12, which I can also factor to be x um, minus 4 and x plus 3. So what I can say then is x cubed plus x squared minus 14x minus 24 equals 0. It's the same thing as writing this as x plus 2 times x minus 4 times x plus 3 equals to 0. So I have, um, looking at these factors here, if I want to make this equal to 0, all I have to do is make one of the factors equal to 0, and 0 times any other number gives me a 0. So for example, if I put in x equals negative 2, then what's going to happen is this term here becomes a 0. So everybody else is a 0, and it's a possible solution to that equation. So the other ones I have here, this would be when x equals 4. That makes everybody equal to 0. And here, when x equals negative 3, that equals to 0. Okay, so those are the solutions to this polynomial equation. And again, make sure you actually, this is not quite far enough if you're doing a test or a quiz. You actually need to state the answers for me as well. So don't leave it factored. Make sure you actually write the solutions out. Okay, so um, we'll do uh, another one together here. Um, this one, of course, what we should do before we start is we should take out any common factors. So it's nice enough for us to do this. And then we don't really need to go into our grade 11 uh, style of solving. This is just a, another quadratic equation like for, we would have done in grade 10. So by factoring this whole thing out, that was a lot quicker. What, uh, what are the three solutions here? Do you want to give me one? Zero. Sorry? Zero. zero, yeah. So there's a zero. And the other two? Two and negative two. You copy drinker, Connor? Yeah. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> there, sorry, negative two and two. Okay, any questions so far on factoring to uh, solve a polynomial? It's very similar to what we did with quadratic equations, but we're using that full factor theorem now. Okay, so um, let's just try this next one here, and I'll catch up to uh, you. See if you can work ahead and find the solutions for this. So you might have found a different root. Um, I found a root of x equals negative 1. Um, I, just, I did that by sort of noticing that I've got a 1, 6, and 7. So there might be some combination that add up to 0, which it does for negative 1. So that means one of my factors is x plus 1. And then I'm going to use synthetic division. This is going to be 1. Remember, you need a placeholder for the missing term, which is x squared. So here there's like a 0x squared that, uh, that wasn't included. And then we have a negative 7 and a negative 6.
And again, should be a remainder zero if we've done this one properly. So this is going to become x minus 3, x plus 2. So if x cubed minus 7x minus 6 equals 0, so too does x plus 1 times x minus 3 times x plus 2. And that gives me values of negative 1, 3, and negative 2 for the solutions. Any questions? Can I just see by a show of hands how many people are with it right now? You've got, you've got the hang. Excellent. So I'm going to skip a couple just so that we can uh, save a bit of time. Um, and we're going to take a look at the graphs. So if you don't have a graphing calculator, which is probably the case for most of you, you're going to have to try to follow me along here. So this is only going to be part of the graph that we end up showing you, but uh, what you're going to see here um, is sort of, I guess, my best rendering of the graph that we're looking at. Um, so for this one, it kind of goes like this. It comes up, goes sort of off my picture, comes back down. And again, it goes just outside the picture, and then back up like that. Okay, so somewhere here there'd be a nice smooth curve, but it would be just off of the picture. Okay. And for the next one, uh, let's see here, x cubed minus 7x minus 6. And this time, let's see, I know I pass through here and here, and it goes something like this. And that's what my picture looks like. Okay. And uh, we'll just focus on these two graphs here since we skipped the other two, since we were doing pretty good with this idea. And hopefully uh, how we relate the picture to our uh, equations is going to uh, click in well and we won't have to review more of those. But um, what do you notice about where it crosses the x-axis compared to the algebra that you did? Can you connect your algebra to the picture? What do you think? Sure, Alice, you want to give it a shot? Uh, the x-axis, the number equals to the x. Okay, so let's go back up. This is one of them that we did. So here's the first graph. Those are the values of x, 0, negative 2, and 2. And those are the values here, negative 2, 0, and 2 for x. So where it crosses the x-axis is the zeros that we found. And the reason why is this is y equals 0, this line right here. So if it's where y equals to 0, that's where the whole equation will equal to 0. Um, on this side, it's at negative 2, negative 1, and this is at 3. Let's double check. There they are, negative 1, 3, and negative 2. So they also match up with what my picture shows. So we can